Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be covering a few of Shopify's new updates and features for 2025. Keeping track of the updates made to the Shopify platform, as well as keeping track of Shopify's newest tools, can help you to stay up to date on how to navigate Shopify, and you can also discover their newest tools and features that can possibly help you to run your store more easily. I'll be covering some of their newer features and updates in this video. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. One of Shopify's newer features is the Shopify Sidekick tool. When you open Shopify and then go to your online store page, you may notice this icon in the upper right corner of your screen. When you click this icon, it will show the sidebar for Shopify Sidekick. This is an AI powered assistant to help answer your questions regarding how to use and navigate Shopify. You can ask it questions regarding where to edit certain settings in your Shopify store. And sometimes it will respond with a link to open up that direct page in your Shopify store. Using the Sidekick tool is a great way to get answers to those questions that you have regarding Shopify and even how to edit and customize your website. It can also help to save you time from searching the internet to find answers to those questions. Then you can also choose to ask it questions regarding how you can design your website. Here I'm asking it what are some of the best sections I can add to my website. This can give you some inspo for different types of sections that you would like to add to your website. And you can even ask it to instruct you on how to add those specific sections. For an example, I'm going to go in and customize my website. And I've already added this section to my website, but I'll be showing you how you can ask Shopify Sidekick how to add a featured collection to your website to feature your products. You can ask the tool, for example, how to add a featured collection to your website. Once it gives you the walkthrough for how to add that section, you're going to want to open your Shopify website, and then you can just follow the instructions to add the section to your website. And if you have additional questions about the section or how to customize it, you can ask the Sidekick tool. I would definitely take advantage of Shopify Sidekick. This can help to make your website design process easier, especially if you're a beginner to creating your website. Also, if you guys like the layout and style of this website you see here, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of different Shopify theme templates designed for different types of businesses. These can help you to build your website and have a professional look and layout to display your products, services, and more without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. In case you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, the Shopify theme will arrive in a zip file format. And when you open Shopify, then click add theme, then upload a zip file, you'll have the option to upload that website theme straight into your store and you can publish it and begin editing it and adding your products. And my Shopify templates are template bundles, so they do include installation guides with instructions and screenshots to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And I have a wide variety of Shopify themes designed for beauty, makeup and skincare businesses, clothing and accessory businesses, and I also have Shopify themes for dropshipping stores and coaching businesses. Most of my Shopify template bundles also include additional templates like web banner templates, logo templates, and more. If you're looking to save the time from having to design and lay out your website from scratch, you can grab one of my Shopify themes from my website, which I will link in the description box below. The next recent update that Shopify has made would be the location of the menu editing page. Your menu page is a very crucial page in helping you to create your main and your footer menu for your website. They have moved the location of the page to a different spot on your Shopify dashboard. So you want to open Shopify and under online store, you can open your navigation page. You'll see that it will redirect you to the new location of the menus page. So here, when you click content, you will see the new location of multiple of Shopify's pages, including the menus and the blog post page. When you click menus, this is where you'll be able to customize your website's menus. I'll be showing you how to customize your main menu and the photo menu of your website. So you can choose to open your main menu, or you can also create a brand new menu for your store. Under menu items is where you can begin adding new menu links to other pages in your website. I'll start off by adding a homepage link and you can also edit the link label title. I'm gonna click add menu item again. You can add a link to your catalog page or a link to your collections page. I'll be adding a link to the catalog page, which is essentially a link to the all products page. 
and then I'll also be adding a link to the contact page. And that is a way that you can customize either your main menu or how you can customize a new menu that you've created. And you can also choose to repeat similar steps to either create a new footer menu for your website or to customize your current footer menu. And next, I'll be showing you how to update your menu and also apply your footer menu for if you've created new menus. You want to open your Shopify website, then you're going to click on your header bar. Next to menu, you'll be able to apply any new menu that you've created. Then also, if you need to make edits to the menu, you want to click here where it says edit. And it will take you to the page where you can edit that menu and add new menu links. Then also if you would like to customize your website's footer menu, you'll want to scroll to the bottom of your website and then click on your footer bar. Then under footer, I'm going to click add block. And I'll be inserting a menu block. And this is where you can link your new footer menu. And that's how to add links to your website's footer bar. And also if you like the design and style of this clothing apparel website, this is another one of my Shopify website templates and I'll have this linked in my description box below. Another recent update that Shopify has made, this will be an improvement that they've made to the Shopify Flow app. When you open Shopify, under apps you may see the Shopify Flow app installed into your store. If you don't have this app just yet, you can open the Shopify app store and you can install this app into your store. If you're unfamiliar with the Shopify Flow app, it allows you to create workflows in your store so that you can program in different settings for different pages and features within your store. I primarily use Shopify Flow to set my cart page automation to detect high fraud orders and automatically cancel them and return the payment back to the customer. When you receive Shopify orders in your store, you may notice certain orders receive the high fraud order label. That means Shopify has detected that the order may be fraudulent and you can either choose to still try and fill the order in case it is legit, or you can choose to automatically cancel those orders because likely a lot of those customers will end up filing chargebacks to not have to pay for the product. Shopify Flow is a free app you'll definitely want to install into your Shopify store and you can choose to set up that automation in case you would like to protect your store from those fraudulent orders. So I'm gonna click create workflow then I'm going to click Browse Templates. You can choose to use Shopify's different pre-made templates. So these are different workflow templates in case you would like to use one that is already created so that you don't have to do one from scratch. My favorite automation to set up would be their Cancel High Risk Orders automation. And here it tells you that it automatically cancels orders flagged as high risk and it will automatically refund and restock the item. When you select this, it will show you the design of the workflow this will tell you the steps that Shopify will take as soon as it detects that an order is high risk. And you can click the install button to go ahead and apply this cart page automation. That checkout automation will be applied to your website. Most likely you won't need to take any further action. Under the Shopify flow news section, you can explore their new updates. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.